Cody. Why does he get so many turns? That's kind of unfair. Okay, that is very unfair. That is very, very unfair. I don't like him. He, he, he killed me. I, I can see that it's a game over game. Thank you. All right then. Let's keep going. Game. There we go. Now you're doing what I tell you to do. Let's try that again, shall we? This game has a very interesting battle system. The problem is, is it's extremely difficult. Because that guy was doing half of my health and damage every time I hit him. Or every time he hit me, I guess. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, wrong button. I'm gonna go get the bullets. Because bullets are good. Yes, I want the pistol rounds. Can I go down? Thank you. See, I'm starting to get the controls. It's not too hard. Huh? What? Oh. Um, can I go in here? Yes, there's a thing. What is it? Listel? The fuck's Listel? Sounds bad. What's through here? Through here is a lot of dead chickens. A whole hell of a lot of dead chickens. Let's go back down. Let's go back and go back down to the stairs after I kill whatever this is. Lady, you seem to be missing your head. Whoa, and physical stuff does shit to you and Edward has nothing. Um I didn't think this through again. You can't do magic for shit, Edward. <laughs> that much I do remember. <laughs> All right. Okay. Also, another thing to know about this game. The, I remember this. The more you use an ability, the more levels up, at least in terms of magic. So if I don't use something, then it's not going to level up. Are you dead yet? Nope. You look like you need to go to the bathroom, monster. You should probably do that and stop killing Edward. It's not very nice. Alright, I guess I gotta keep his happy ass alive. Looks like physical melee attacks hurt him. That's something. Go, ever go. Go, ever go. I remember the first time I played this, just lots of running away. Lots of running away. <laughs> well, at 
least he's trapped against the back pole now. Because I don't think they can pass me either. Are you dead yet? Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, folks. That was my phone. Um, let's see here. We will heal Edward. Because he has the tendency to get hit a lot. Please die, just die. God damn it. These guys have the health of the gods, I swear. And did you just. Did you just. vagina bleed at me? Oh, that deserves some stabby stab. Still not dead. Oh, nope, he's dead. Thank God. And fights in this game can be very, very long. In time consuming. Okay. Oh, wrong button. I've been playing too much Resident Evil, I just want to hit circle. Why can't circle always be run? Come on, there we go. Didn't want to let her run. Down these stairs. Down these stairs again. Now what's down here? A dining room. Hope this isn't Chris's three-headed monster. Alright, these guys weren't too bad. So long as Kodelka doesn't die, I should be okay. Step, step. Okay. Uh, Kodelka should be able to survive one more. Oh, wait, nope. I need to reload the gun. Okay. What? Oh, fuck, I have no healing magic. That's not good. I also remember this game being a load of, hey, no MP for you ever. Okay, what items do I have? The fuck do you do? No, that's not what I wanted. I think Listel heals MP, Potion heals health. So we're gonna try that. Alright, so I was right on that one. Come on, Edward, stabby stab. Sanku. He's not dead yet? He's not dead yet. forward and stabby stab. Stabby stab. Dead yet? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think three heads is just too, too many. You, you only really need one, I mean. I guess you could have three brains as three times the intelligence? Maybe? Huh. Ooh, I leveled. Yeah. So what the hell am I gonna give you? Um, pie. I'm gonna give you some pie. I think pie is piety, it's not very useful for her. Um... Fuck. You need... Be right back, I can't remember what any of these things mean. Okay, now we're back. I think I finally know what these mean. Intelligence is, you know, your magic stat. Mind is how, uh, how easy it is for you to actually be able to hit with your magic, because you can miss with magic in this game. Luck is a general luck stat. Piety is your magic defense. Vitality is physical defense. Strength is how much you hit for with melee weapon, or for with weapons. Dexterity is your likelihood to hit with those weapons. And agility is, I can't, I, I, is, 
Yes, I'm actually looking at something for this. Your speed. If you have a high agility, you can attack multiple times in a round. There we go. That took much more time than I thought it would. So for her, since she's a magic person, it's important for her to have a high mind and a high int. Probably some high pie. Some high pie. Okay. Yes. All right. Ooh, I got an axe. Edward, Edward gets the axe. You know what, I'm going to fix this because it's it's just not working out. <laughs> Run. Switch with that. Okay. There we go. Now run a circle and menu is triangle and everything is right with the world. Come on. Right, I forgot to actually give him the axe. No, I want to equip. Oh! <laughs> Durr. There we go. Oh, and that's what she uses the cards. Okay. Found a door. There's an old couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Hartman, who say they're the caretakers of the Nemeton Monastery. Cutscene. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. Oh, they're feeding me. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We that was very rude, Kodelka. You should have some of the soup. rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemeton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Well, you seem to be overrun with monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too? You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years, but from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh dear, what if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now Something's the creepy about them. I don't trust them. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks, that'd be great. Looking after others. He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been together long? <laughs> yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Either Edward's very, very tall or everyone is very, very short. <laughs> or at least that dude was. Alright then. Can I go back in? It's been locked with the right key. Okay, so they locked me out. That's very nice. Come on. There's a door here. And some steps. And a kitchen, I think. Yep, kitchen. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. He's got a point there. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poison, then I would have had some. <laughs> Pardon? 
I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. The soup was poisoned, of course it was. Poisoned? <laughs> no way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? And now he's feeling it. I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. So they really were trying to kill us. So nonchalant. But why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. Listen, Edward. I'm going to try to cure you now. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. I love how the couple didn't say anything to the fact she didn't have any of the poison soup then and just let her go. 